In the world today, it seems like the Jews are the enemy of so many countries. There's a lot of anti-Semitism that has just come up from the war from Hamas that broke out on Israel on October 7th. And so many people around the world are saying, you know, blaming the Jews, saying they are occupying the land of the Palestinians. And there's a lot of misinformation. This seems to be twisted exactly backwards. And again, the Jewish people are being vilified and they are not safe in many parts of the world today and in their own land of Israel. This attack of the Jews just seems so crazy to me and to many of us. I was really not sure what was going on, except it is prophetic in the Bible that Israel will come under attack, especially toward the end of times when armies from the north will attack Israel to try to completely destroy her. But God will intervene in the war of Armageddon and not let Israel be destroyed. Israel is God's land, is the apple of God's eye, and God would like for the Jewish people to turn to him and call out to him. And so at this time in the world, with Israel coming under such attack, I wanted to help explain and understand for myself why this was suddenly happening. What is behind all this? Some people say it's a spiritual war. I do believe that. It is part of biblical prophecy and Satan's demonic warfare trying to de destroy the Jewish people as he has from the beginning of time in the Garden of Eden. And so Satan is trying to protect himself from his complete demise because ultimately the Bible says he will be thrown into the lake of fire by Jesus. According to Revelation 20 verse 10, And the devil who deceived them was thrown into the lake of fire and brimstone, where the beast and the false prophet are also, and they will be tormented day and night forever and ever. So I found an article I wanted to read by Don Stewart called, How Has the Devil Attempted to Thwart God's Plan of the Ages? Because the devil wants to um, not have the Messiah return so the devil can continue to roam the earth and so that the devil can prevent himself but from being ultimately destroyed and thrown in the lake of fire. In his article, Don Stewart writes, The devil has tried to thwart the plan of God from the beginning. He has attempted to do it in five different ways. His five target areas of destruction have been the human race, the nation Israel, the promised line, Jesus Christ, and the church. His second target is the nation Israel. A second target of the devil has been the nation Israel. 4,000 years ago, God gave a man named Abram a number of promises. The Lord had said to Abram, Leave your country, your people, and your father's household, and go to the land I will show you. I will make you into a great nation, and I will bless you. I will make your name great, and you will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you, and whoever curses you, I will curse. And all the peoples on earth will be blessed through you. That is from Genesis Chapter 12, verses 1 through 3. Among other things, God promised that the descendants of Abraham would exist forever. If the nation that came from Abraham's descendants, Israel, were ever annihilated as a nation, then the word of God would be untrue. It is for this reason that Satan has paid special attention to Abraham's descendants. So I'm jumping through these, of course, and I would like for you to read the whole article for yourself. But the next section I want to read is Target 3, The Line of the Messiah. And he writes, From the beginning, Satan has attempted to destroy the chosen line of the Messiah. If the chosen line were destroyed, then God's plan would be thwarted.
God promised to judge Satan through the promised Messiah. I will put enmity between you and the woman and between your offspring and hers. He will crush your head and you will strike his heel. That's from Genesis 3.15. The fourth target is Jesus Christ. A fourth way in which Satan has attempted to stop the plan of God is in the mission of Jesus. Satan attempted to keep Jesus from fulfilling his destiny. Mission accomplished. The mission that Jesus set out to do was indeed accomplished. Right before he died, he uttered these words. When Jesus therefore had received the vinegar, he said, It is finished and he bowed his head and gave up his spirit. That's from John chapter 19, verse 30. Jesus came as promised and fulfilled his mission, in spite of all the efforts by Satan. The church, the true believers in Jesus, is carrying out his plan to spread his message throughout the earth. However, from the very first mention of the church by Jesus, a warning was given that it would be opposed by Satan. The book of Acts, as well as 2,000 years of church history, gives testimony to the fact that Satan has tried to stop its mission. But just like in all the other cases, the devil has failed to stop the plan of God. Until the end, before Christ returns, the dragon, or Satan, will still attempt to destroy the people and the plan of God. Then the dragon was angry with the woman and went off to make war on the rest of her children, those who keep the commandments of God and hold the testimony of Jesus. Revelation chapter 12, verse 17. And we know that Jesus is going to return in the new Jerusalem, and he will rule and reign, and he will accomplish that mission as well. Summary from the beginning, Satan has attempted to thwart the plan of God. First, he has attempted to destroy the human race, then the chosen people, Israel. Next, he has tried to cut off the promised line of the Messiah. He has sought to interfere with the mission of Jesus to the earth. Finally, Satan has tried to destroy the work of God in the world today, the church. In all of these attempts, he has miserably failed. Satan has lost, the Lord has prevailed. And of course, Satan continues to try to destroy the people of Israel. The real aha moment for me was when J.D. Farag was talking about this very thing, why Satan is trying to destroy the Jews. I couldn't really put it together until then, but it was such um, an, an educational moment for me. It was a breakthrough in my thinking and understanding of what is going on in the world and why are the Jews so suddenly under attack and JD Farag really explained it the best for me. Because he failed in thwarting the first coming of Jesus but he now is going to try and will try again his last failed attempt will be during the seven year tribulation. He will not succeed. By way of the Antichrist, he will try to exterminate the Jews for the last time during the seven-year tribulation. Why is he so hell-bent, quite literally, on exterminating the Jews? Because if he could succeed, he would never succeed. But if he could succeed, he could thwart the second coming of Jesus Christ, not the rapture. Why the second coming? Because the Jews, if they're here, and they will be, have to call upon the one whom they pierced. And Satan knows the Bible pretty well, way better than you and I will ever know it. So he tries to exterminate them because if there's no Jews here, then Jesus cannot come back. So I hope this has helped you see the connection in the Bible, how the Jews are supposed to come back to their land. Years ago, I remember Jewish people were making the pilgrimage and going back to Israel, and that was celebrated and exciting, and that was really great. But now they're under such terrible attack um, by people in the U.S., people in their country, of course. Um, the anti-Semitism has just exploded, it seems, in the world. 
and it's supposed to according to Bible prophecy. And I hope this helps you understand, like it did me, that this is the satanic realm trying to keep Jesus from coming back, uh, trying to preserve himself. It's self-preservation to keep Satan's kingdom alive and um, trying to stop the Messiah from returning. That's my take on it. That helps me see and understand what's happening in Israel. It really has intensified quickly, and this kind of gives me a rational explanation according to Bible prophecy um, for what is happening and why it is so crazy in the world today. So thank you. God bless you. Have a good one. Bye.